This is the best application of Starling's approximation. But before we begin with this, uh, let us uh, know what Starling's approximation is. So basically, the value of n factorial. If you want to evaluate this uh, like without the repeated multiplication, uh, this is also approximately equals to the root under two pi n and then n by e to the power n and this approximation is uh, really really correct or uh, error is really low if n is going to infinity so in that case n factorial will be exactly equals to root under 2 pi n n by e to the power 1 sorry n now if you want uh, to like uh, check this uh, let me try with my calculator basically if you want to find out 10 factorial uh, which you know that uh, 10 factorial is 362880 isn't it let me check yeah 362880 fine now if we use Starling's approximation we will have 2 pi times 10 and then 10 by e to the power 10 so that will be root under 2 pi times 10 and then 10 by e to the power to the power 10 yeah and it gives us uh, 3 5 9 8 6 9 5 8 6 9 6 so, yeah, I have basically round off yeah and this is actually pretty close yeah yeah though it uh, though it differs by some thousands or something like that but the error percentage will be really low because the magnitude of these numbers are high so basically error percentage uh, goes on decreasing as we go to infinity and uh, this is supposed to be equal in infinity yeah okay so now we will use Starling's approximation for this integral First of all, uh, let me just uh, erase these things. Fine, and now let me increase the size of the page. Okay, so now we are ready to begin. Okay, so we will use Starling's approximation. And that was n factorial is equals to root 2 pi n n by e to the power n and this uh, this sends it to equality when n goes to infinity at that point these are equal so that's uh, the formula or let's property that we will use now in this problem uh, first of all uh, we have 2n factorial, 2n plus 1 factorial, and then over here n factorial, 2 to the power n to the power 4, yeah. We can change 2n plus 1 into, 2n plus 1 factorial into, uh, product of 2n plus 1, and then 2n factorial, yeah. This is because 2n factorial will be easy to deal with rather than 2n plus 1, and we already have a 2n factorial as well. And then n factorial... 2 to the power n by 4 now we will have limit n tends to infinity uh, 2n plus 1 will be as it is yeah and then 2n factorial equals to 2 pi and then in place of n there will be 2n again in place of n there will be 2n in place of n there will be 2n okay and since we have uh, two to n factorials so we can just square this yeah because there are uh, two to n factorials yeah divided by now n factorial will be root under 2 pi n and then n by e to the power n 2 to the power n and then raised to the power 4 yeah now limit n tends to infinity basically this will be 2n plus 1 
and when we square this the root and the square will cancel out so we will have 4 pi n now here we will have uh, 2n to the power 4n so that is 2 to the power 4n n to the power 4n yeah and 1 by e to the power 4n as well 1 by e to the power 4n as well yeah this is, this is basically multiplication of powers and then we will have 4n so that gives us 2 to the power 4n n to the power 4n by e to the power 4n over here in the denominator we will have a fourth power so that means we will have 4 pi square n square yeah so basically this will be squared and over here that will be n to the power 4n yeah and then 1 by e to the power 4n and then 2 to the power 4n yeah 2 to the power 4n will cancel out n to the power 4n will cancel out 1 by e to the power 4n will cancel out and 4 will cancel and then uh, it's the square and one of the pi will cancel square and one of the n will cancel okay so we have limit n tends to infinity 2n plus 1 by pi n okay now at infinity at infinity we can say that 2n plus 1 will just be equals to 2n yeah since the plus 1 will not matter because n is going to infinity and that's really a large number so that's why we can say that limit n tends to infinity will be 2n by pi n and if you want to prove this as well it's, it's easy like you can just stick 2n to uh, the other side if you just stick 2n to this side 2n plus 1 by 2n this should be equals to 1 yeah if you take this to other side now you can prove this limit this is basically limit n tends to infinity of 1 plus 1 by 2n now since n goes to infinity this is actually equals to 1 plus 0 so this is 1 and which is the RHS RHS value so that's proved okay now let's get back here now n and n can be cancelled out so we get 2 by pi which is the answer so 2 by pi is the answer and it was in fact easy because all of these things cancelled out yeah the only thing that we needed to do was use the Starling's approximation and then basically it, there wasn't anything else and this was an uh, easy limit idea yeah so 2 by pi is the answer and Starling approximation proved to be really powerful tool for this limit problem Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video and look forward to seeing you in the next videos too.